Okay, so this is question two. Um, we have the above, uh, we have this MOSFET circuit where the transistor transconductance is 400 microamperes per volt squared. And the threshold voltage is 0 0.5 volts. And we need to determine the Kirsten point and then verify the mode of operation, right? So uh, let's get started. So for this particular problem, um, we first start finding out what's the value of VG, right? Because if you remember for the MOSFET, like unlike the, the BJT, we don't have a current flowing through the base. So this current here is actually zero because it's just like a capacitor. So it, there is no like current flowing inside the base. And then we know that the drain current is the same as the source current, right? So because there is no current flowing inside the, the actually the gate, right, for, for the MOSFET, uh, we can apply just a voltage divider at the, at the gate to figure out what's the value of VG. So in this particular case, VG here, right, it's going to be just VDD times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Right, and this one is the same as six times nine k divided by nine k plus one k, and this is equals to zero point six volts. Right, so this is uh, this is VG. Okay, now one thing is that we can write the gate source voltage VGS. We know that VGS, in this case, is the same as VG, right? Minus ID times RS, right? So we have VG here. VGS is just like this potential difference here. But then we have a current here that it is the drain current, right? The drain current is the same as the service current. So, and because here it's grounded, then we just have to take VGS equals to VG minus the voltage here at VS, that would be just uh, ID times RS, right? So in this case, we have an equation for VGS that it's equals to 0 0.6, the value of VG that we just calculated, uh, minus 1K times ID. And if we represent <clears throat> Sorry, if we represent the resistance in kilo ohms, so we drop the unit here, 1k, and the currents in milliamperes, then we are basically saying that the Ohm's law here, which is R times I, holds for like units of volts for voltage, units of milliamperes for current, and units of kilo ohms. For resistance right because kilo times milli that gives us um, one right and then we have um, ampere times uh, ohm that is the same as volt right so can we just like drop the the one here right so we are left with minus id okay and you could also solve like using milliamperes and kilo like without using just uh, milliamperes and kilo ohms you could keep like the one k here but it kind of simplifies the, the upcoming steps, okay? So we're just keeping that way because then it simplifies solving like the, the quadratic equation, quadratic formula. So uh, if you remember one of the terms that we have inside the equation for the drain current in the, uh, in the saturation operation is VGS minus VT, right? So we also have VGS minus VT. So VT in this case is something that we know, right? It's given by the problem, 0 0.5. So we can write this one here as VGS using the same equation that we have up here. So it's 0 0.6 minus ID, okay? Minus VT, which in this case, it's minus 0 0.5. So VGS minus VT is equals to 0 0.1 minus IP. Okay, so this equation here we are going to use now to calculate the value of ID. 
So if you remember, let me use a different color. So ID is equals to one half the transistor transconductance times uh, VGS minus VT. Now we know an equation for VGS minus VT in terms of ID, <coughs> right? So we can <coughs> substitute back in this equation ID equals to one half KN 0 0.1 minus ID, right? Now remember that the process transconduct, or sorry, this is the transistor transconductance is in microamperes, uh, 400 microamperes per volt squared. So we need to represent that in terms of milliamperes per volt per volt squared, right? Because we did that assumption for milliamperes here in the current. So if we do that, then we just have that one half times 0 0.4 milliamperes per volt squared, right? So this is the same as 400 microamperes per volt squared. So I'll, I'll just like get rid of the million volt here, but just remember that. So it is there. And then we have also 0 0.1 minus ID here. So now if we put this 0 0.4 divided by two on the left hand side, right? We get two here. And then zero point divided by 0 0.4, it's the same as multiplying by 2.5. So this gives us 5 ID on the left hand side equals to 0 0.1, right? Minus ID. And this should be squared. Just forgot about the squared. Okay. So if we then um, equate this in terms of ID squared, right? So if we expand the, the right hand side, in the end and then like isolate the square term in id the linear term in id and then the, just the constant we get id squared minus 5.2 id right uh plus 0 0.01 and that's equals to zero so now this is our a term so we have a term equals to one B term equals to minus 5.2 and the C term equals to 0 0.01. So we can use the quadratic formula to calculate ID, right? And if you remember, ID would be equals to minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C divided by 2A, right? So this one here gives us two solutions, right? So the first solution that we get, it's 5.19081 milliampere. And the other one is 1.9 microamperes, okay? So I'm going to stick with this solution here because that's one that gives us the, the correct, uh, uh, it agrees with the assumption of saturation operation of the MOSFET, okay? And if you want to try, you can go with like 5.1981 and then verify the, that the saturation um, condition doesn't hold at the end. Okay, so we already got ID, right? And then we can calculate VD. So VD in this case, it's going to be equals to VDD, right? If we go back to the circuit up there. So we have VDD here, right? And then we have vd here so there is the current id flowing through rd and then there's a voltage drop across rd so once we pass that voltage drop we are left with vd so in this case vd is just vdd minus id times rd okay and in this case if we if we use 1.9 uh, microamperes right we are left with five 0.9904 uh, my sorry volts right so we had uh, six volts at the VDD and then we're just dropping like uh, RD times ID across the drain resistance so this is now VD so this is the second answer that we have and we also need to verify the mode of operation so let's see if it's indeed operating because one thing is that to use this equation here we are assuming that the, the MOSFET is operating in the saturation region. So at the end, we have to verify if 
if the values of the of the voltages they give us uh, indeed saturation mode operation right so let's verify that so we have a value of uh, vd we can also calculate vs and remember that vs is just id times rs as we had assumed in the beginning of the solution uh, so this gives us something that it's around 0 0.0019 volts okay and then if we take vd minus vs right this gives us 5.9885 and that should be greater than the overdrive voltage right so that should be greater than the overdrive voltage which in our case it's vgs minus vt right so my, uh, greater than that so let's calculate the overdrive voltage so we have vgs right which is vg minus vs and this is the same as remember vg we calculated at 0 0.6 volts minus vs which is 0 0.0019 this gives us uh, 0 0.5981 right and if we then subtract the, the the threshold voltage VGS minus VT, which indeed is the overdrive voltage, this gives us 0 0.5981 minus 0 0.5. This is 0 0.0981 volts. So indeed, if we substitute up here, 0 0.09 eight one we verify that this condition actually holds and therefore we are operating at saturation mode okay so that's it for this problem